Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Today's practice is a memory verse flow. We are memorizing scripture. We are writing it on our hearts as we connect it to breath and movement. And today's scripture verse comes from the psalmist, Psalm 92, verse 12. The psalmist says this, the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of the Lord. Our psalmist is taking us back to nature, thinking about all of the amazing trees, the way that they are rooted strongly into the earth. They can withstand the storms. They grow over the course of centuries. We are invited to flourish, to be righteous, to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason. Everything that we say and do flowing out of our love for God, our obedience to his will. The righteous flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord and flourish in the courts of our God. Find your sitting bones, rock a little bit side to side, front to back, and begin to find a strong foundation here. Closing your eyes, let the day fade away. Let go of the to-do lists. Draw your attention and your focus inward, inviting the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts as you practice. Find your breath, one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, and begin to find this deep breath as you inhale down the body and exhale up the body. Grow a little taller with that inhale. Anchor those muscles with that exhale. Hands to legs, take three more breaths here. Can you still feel the breath moving through the body? The hands come down beside you on that next inhale, arms rise. And on that next exhale, let the hands float down to the mat. And can you use the strength of the serratus muscles, those muscles from underneath the arm as the arms rise and fall? And can you connect the breath with the movement and the movement with the scripture verse, the righteous flourish like a palm tree and grow like the cedars of Lebanon? They are planted in the house of the Lord and flourish in the courts of our God. One more breath here. Exhaling, take your hands to your legs and if your legs are crossed in front of you, I invite you for just a moment to notice how this feels. Today we'll be focusing on tree pose, working um, step by step to get into some different variations of that. And as we do that, there's going to be a lot of external rotation of the hips. And so how comfortable or uncomfortable is this right now? Do you feel tension you know, at the um, hip flexors, the inner mus the thighs, the muscles of the inner thighs, the adductor muscles? Go ahead and come off the block. If you have blocks, bring one to each side of your legs. Bring your feet a little bit forward, soles of the feet together. Find the sitting bones again. Let the knees come up and down a few times, the wings of that butterfly. And then as you're ready, let the knees begin to sink towards the mat, maybe supporting them with the block. Find a nice tall torso creating a little space between each of the vertebra, softening the arms, lengthening through the neck. Maybe you can use the arms to create a little traction, legs pressing into arms, arms pressing into legs. 
Maybe moving the flesh away from the groin. Take two more breaths here. Gently take the hands underneath, bring the knees up. Go ahead and move the blocks out to the side. Take those feet wide and gently just dip the knees towards the center of the mat. A little internal rotation here. And then extend that right leg out. Again, finding the sitting bones. Go ahead and press your foot into your thigh. And for a moment, let's just practice that. So how much traction can you get as that foot presses into that, the thigh as the thigh presses into the foot? And release. Do that twice more. Nice big inhale, press in, find the strength. Exhale and soften. One more time. As you press the foot in, as you exhale, gently take that left hand to the center of the thigh and gently bring that knee down a little closer to the mat and release. And two more times here, again, just noticing what is your external rotation. If your knee doesn't come down to the mat, then your knee is not going to point straight out from the body when you're in tree pose. That's okay. Just noticing. Create that traction again between the foot. Rotate towards the extended leg. Activate the muscles of that leg and hinge from the hip as you exhale forward and inhale back. Adding in the scripture verse. The righteous flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord and flourish in the courts of our God. Find your hamstring stretch. Go ahead and allow the body to soften over it. Maybe finding a little length shoulder to shoulder. Let the heaviness of the head drop down as the neck stretches. Find your breath. Consider the scripture verse. Some translations um, use present tense, the righteous flourish. Others, future tense, the righteous, the righteous will flourish. Because the tense of the Hebrew word could be either or both. And so I invite you to embrace this scripture verse as a fact in the present and a promise for your future. The righteous flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord and flourish in the courts of our God. Gently press into your hands and rise up. Bring the legs forward. Go ahead and bounce the knees a little bit. Windshield wiper the feet. Activate the muscles of the legs as you find your staff pose, finding those sitting bones again. Nice deep breath in. Let the arms rise. Reach as high as you can. Exhale. Let the shoulders come down. Just check in and notice how does this pose feel. Maybe you need to soften the knees a little bit. Find your breath. One more breath here. Do you notice any difference between the right side of the body and the left? Exhale, bringing the hands down, extend that left leg, right leg comes in. So again, let's start here just with that traction of the foot. So activate the muscles of the longer leg, create this traction as that foot presses into the thigh, thigh presses into foot, and relax. Connect it with the breath, inhale, press. Exhale. Soften. One more time. Take that right hand to the center of the thigh. And again, just very gently inhale, extending, finding that external rotation as that knee comes a little bit towards the mat. Exhale, relax. Two more times here, two more breaths. 
What do you notice? Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, come up. Back and forth here over that extended leg. How does the hamstring feel? How do the glutes feel? How does the back feel? Two more times, adding the scripture verse. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord and flourish in the courts of our God. Come forward, settling into your hamstring stretch on this side. And again, just noticing where are the sensations most intense. And wherever that is, begin to direct breath into that place, creating space. And that next inhale, gently press into the hands and come up. Again, bringing the legs forward. Again, just kind of boggling the knees, windshield wiper the feet, find the sitting bones. Raise the arms all the way up, shoulders to ears, let the shoulders drop. Find your staff pose as you begin to anchor. Can you feel the pelvic floor lift? Draw the belly button in, the rib cage down. Find breath. One more breath here. As you're ready, release. Meet me in table. Knees underneath hips, wrists underneath shoulders. Find neutral position of the spine. Press into the tops of the feet. And draw the eyes of the elbows in. And from this strong and steady table, find cat. Rounding the back up towards the sky and cow, arching the back, opening up across the chest. And can you lengthen through the spine? And can you add the scripture verse? The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. Meet me back at table, curl the toes underneath, draw knees up into the rib cage, find that first downward facing dog today, and just shake your head out, no and yes. And begin to pedal through the feet, moving the hips back and forth. And then taking a deep breath in, let the heels rise, exhaling, let the heels come down towards the mat. And in this downward facing dog, finding this triangle, fingers and feet pressing towards the mat, hips rising up and reaching towards where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. Finding the foundation of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Protector, provider, friend, and guide. The righteous flourish like the palm tree. They grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of the Lord. On the next inhale, that right leg rises up, heel to hip, knee to sky. Open up the body, find that stretch in the front of the hip. And then raise the leg towards the ceiling, raise that other heel. As the gaze comes forward, go ahead and bring the knee through and the foot in between the hands. Let the back knee come down and up. And tap it here as you begin to find the strength or stretch in the psoas muscle. Let that knee come down. 
maybe use blocks here if your arms are feeling a little short. Flex that back foot, begin to bring that heel towards the hip and down, simultaneously stretching through the quadriceps, working through the hamstrings. And two more times here, if your knee needs a little more padding, just get a blanket or a pillow, put it underneath the knee. And curling the toes under, extend that back leg. Imagine that back hip scooping a little bit forward, press into that inside hand, raise that right arm up as you twist, find your breath. Maybe the shoulders come back a little more towards the hips. Exhale, release, front foot comes to the back, meet knee in plank and find a strong plank. And find your breath here. And then dropping down to the knees, come all the way down to the mat. Forearms to the mat, rise in and out of sphinx a few times, exploring the work in the middle and upper back. As you're ready, pressing the forearm down, the tops of the feet down, meet me in sphinx and stay there and say the scripture verse. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. Exhale down, hands to rib cage. Come through child's pose. Rise up to meet me in downward facing dog. And stay here and check in. And left leg rises high and heel to hip and knee to sky and just open up that hip. And then raise that leg up and draw the gaze forward and bring the foot in between the hands and let that back knee tap down and up. And as you're ready, top of the foot to the mat. Stay here for a moment, finding this stretch, particularly in the psoas, as that back, hoop, back hip scoops forward a little bit. And then maybe flex that back foot and bring that heel towards the hip and extend. So again, a few times here, using that blanket or towel under the knee if you need it. Maybe three more for five total. Feel the work in the hamstring, the stretch in the quadricep. Two more here. And as you're ready, raise that back knee, right hand to the center of the mat, left arm rises up, reach and extend, let the shoulders draw back towards the hips, find breath. And exhale, hands come down to either side of the foot. That back foot comes forward, bend the knees, and find your first forward fold. So hold on to the elbows, knees deeply bent, top of the head reaching towards the mat. And find breath, finding length in the spine, maybe shaking the head out, no and yes, to release a little more tension. And hands come down to the mat and then hands to shins rise up halfway and exhale down and take a deep breath in and come all the way up and find mountain pose and bring hands to heart and hands to heart let's just stay here for a moment as we explore what's going on in the feet today so rock a little bit forward and back And can you settle evenly at the base of the big toe, the little toe, and the heel? Remember what that feels like and rock to the outside of the foot and to the inside. And again, can you come to an even distri distribution of weight? 
resting in the base of the big toe, little toe and heel. Let the toes rise, and as the toes rise, maybe the muscles of the abdominals engage a little bit. Maybe you can bring those toes down, maybe one toe at a time, question mark, keeping the abdominals strong. Imagine the backs of the thighs pressing a little bit behind you. Take your two peace fingers to the tops of the glutes and gently just guide the glutes down towards the mat. And maybe as you do that, the shoulders glide down as well. Let the hands come to the side, palms out. And can you keep those shoulders low as the arms rise? Hands to heart. Two breaths here. What do you notice in mountain? I invite you to stay here. Press into that right foot. Bring that left foot to the shin and actually just to the inside. So we're going to externally rotate that knee. Bring the hands out to balance. Maybe they're down. Maybe they are out to the side. Can you draw this knee, this bent knee, a little bit more towards the back wall? And then stay there, but just slide the ankle behind the calf. And can you just lift that leg up a little bit and bring it back down? And a few more times here, just beginning to work the muscles of the external rotation of the hip. Five times here. And then just slide that leg back. Can you create that traction? Check the balance as the arms rise, as the hands come down. Maybe leave that left arm extended. Bring that right arm over. Whoops. How's your balance? And release hands to heart. Shake it out. Step into that left foot. Again, really strong mountain. Right foot pressed in the calf. The knee moving towards the back. Again, finding your rotation here. And then just slide that ankle back a little bit and just lift up five times. Use those glute muscles. As you lift up with that ankle, can you press down with the other foot, finding stability? And then as you're ready, bring that foot back in. Up, bring the arms up. So both arms come out to the side. That opposite arm, that left arm is gonna reach over as you bend. So now, you are bending at the waist, lengthening through that left side. As you're ready, release, come back to center, and now shake it out. Nice deep breath in, arms rise high. Exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down, one leg back, and then the other meet me in plank, and from plank, However you choose to do it, come down to the mat and find your back bend. And glide through child. Meeting me in downward facing dog. And check in here, finding again this triangle of support. Maybe you can engage the abdominals a little bit more. On that next inhale, right leg rises high, heel to hip, knee to sky. And then let the leg come up, draw the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through the hands, rise into your lunge. Stay here, hands down to either side of that foot, drop the back knee, take that front foot out to the side, meet me in lizard. Begin to lengthen through that back, quadricep, front of the thigh, hip. Maybe you rotate this front leg out. Maybe you draw that right arm up. Again, just finding this stretch and this rotation. So maybe you stay here. Here's an option for you. You can straighten out that back leg. 
Maybe you lift that back leg, turn it just slightly inward and find a stretch in the outside of that left hip as well. Exhale, release, toe heel back to center. Back foot comes up to meet the front. Find forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down and come all the way up into your mountain. Hands to heart. And find that strong mountain. Arms out to the side. Stepping into that right foot, bring that left foot up. So let's see, left foot, right foot up. Let's start there. So maybe the foot presses in like it did before into that calf muscle. Maybe this time the leg is a little higher. So can you find this traction? Foot pressing against thigh, thigh pressing against foot. And maybe you stay here or maybe you want a little more work and that foot actually comes away from the leg. Up to you, arms rise, so it's kind of a floating tree here, and maybe the hands come out to the side, maybe you find that stretch as that arm reaches over, a little more of a balance challenge, and release, hands to heart, bring that foot down, <laughs> shake it out. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Find your breath as you come down and forward fold. Meet me in plank. However you choose to do it, flow through your flow. Coming to the mat, finding your back bend. And meeting me in downward facing dog. And that next inhale, the left leg will rise high, heel to hip, knee to sky. And then raise that leg up and bring the foot in between the hands, rise into your lunge. Find the balance in the lunge as that back leg extends. Drop a little into that front hip. And then hands to either side of the foot, drop the back knee, toe heel that front foot out. Wrists underneath, shoulders, find lizard. Maybe this is where you stay, or maybe that front foot rolls out slightly. Find the right stretch for you. Maybe this is where you stay. Or maybe that back leg extends and you actually roll into that back hip just a little bit there. And you're just starting to drop the hip, finding a stretch in the outside of the thigh and the hip. Everything back to center, toe heel that front leg back in, raise the back leg, bring it forward, meet me in forward fold. Stay here for a breath. What do you notice? And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down and push through the feet and the righteous Flourish like a palm tree, hands to heart, and grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Stay here for two more breaths. Notice what you notice. Say the rest of the scripture verse. They are planted in the house of the Lord, and they flourish in the courts of our God. Up into that left foot, into that right foot, bring that left foot up. There we go. So again, maybe you start with the leg on um, the foot on the inside of the leg. Maybe you bring that leg up. Start by finding the traction, letting the shoulders relax, reaching the arms wall to wall, finding that firm base of support under the foot. Maybe this is where you stay, or maybe you can float the tree just a little bit. Maybe the arms come up and that left arm comes out to the side as that right arm comes over and you find that side stretch. 
and release. Hands to heart. Whew. And bring that foot down, shake it all out. Nice deep breath in, arms rise high. Exhale, hands to heart. Find your mountain pose and just stay there for two breaths. Can you slow the heart rate down as you slow your exhale down? Take a nice deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, one leg back, and then the other, meet me in plank, and as the knees come down, child to table twice. And as you're ready, Find that child's pose and stay there. Say the scripture verse yourself. As you're ready, gently press into your hands and rise up. Bring the feet forward and come down onto your back. I invite you to bring your knees in and give yourself a hug. and Just a gentle rock side to side. Gently bring the big toes together, the feet are still up, and just circle those knees out and away from each other and then towards the rib cage. So massage out the lower back a little here, maybe release any tight muscles from the leg work that we did. And then as you're ready, go the other direction. And then the next time the knees come together, draw them in towards the rib cage and gently press them out. Just restoring a neutral position to the spine. And as you're ready, feet come down to the mat, legs extend. Hands out to the side, gently turn your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. As you're ready, settle at center and find breath. Present and future, the righteous flourish. What storms have you weathered? Who are you nourishing and protecting and sheltering? How beautiful it is to be planted in the house of the Lord.
I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. If you need to move on with your day, begin to bring movement back, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. And then take a deep breath in, arms rising up and overhead, fingers reaching to one while toes reaching to the other. Find breath. Gently bending your knees, roll over onto your side. Stay here for a breath. And then pressing into your hands, come up to a sitting position. Re-establishing that sitting position, finding your sitting bones. Checking in body, mind, and soul. Notice what has changed since you came to the mat today. Notice also what has stayed the same. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise up and overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart, bowing your head, joining me in prayer. Holy God, we thank you that you are continually growing us, giving us all that we need to thrive. Open our eyes to the possibilities. Open our eyes to the wonder of your creation and all that it can teach us. We thank you, Jesus, for planting us in your house, a house with many rooms, and we thank you for the promise of an eternity in your courts. It is in your precious name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today.